Hello, welcome to this week's video. Before I start on the wood turning, I just want to give you an idea of what I do for my day job. The job that I get paid for compared to the wood turning that I, I don't get paid for. <laughs> anyway, in the photos that you see now, we've got a couple of teams that install roof structures on houses. So they're verandas or patios, entertainment areas. I'm not sure what you'd like to call them, but they, we install them in the local area. We also got another team that builds sheds or shops. They also do um, put new roofs on, wall cladding, and we also do some insurance work where f uh, water tank lids come off and we replace the, the lids with a steel lid. So all our work is in steel. So you backed on to the wood turning. This week I've picked up a bit of mulberry that has been outside for a year or two. I think I might have mentioned in a couple of videos ago how I've got a stack of wood near the shed and it's been a very wet year and the sun doesn't get onto the that part of the shed. So a lot of the fruity woods have got very soft and started to rot. Uh, I had some almond that uh, was like that, some pear and some apple. And this is another fruit wood, mulberry. And when I picked it up, it was fairly light. And once I started turning it, I then realized why it was so light. It was very soft, very punky. So I turned it into a sphere using the jig that my dear father built for me a couple of years ago. Well, quite a few years ago now. And that time flies, doesn't it? So turned it into a sphere. And then I thought I'd make it a bit lighter. So I hollowed it out and it was fairly light. The next process was to stabilise the wood using cactus juice. And once I did that process, I stabilised it in the cactus juice and then put it into the oven to, uh, to, to cook. Once I did that, the, the actual sphere was a lot heavier than before. So obviously the cactus juice making it harder also makes it a bit heavier. So I'm probably glad I did hollow it out because it would have been a lot heavier if I had left it as a solid piece of wood. So anyway, I used a couple of tools. There was the roughing gouge and the half-inch spindle gouge. Then I used the jig just to round it off and then the carbine tool just to hollow it out. Anyway, it come up quite nice. It's uh, very solid. It's not going to move. Normally those woods, once you do a sphere, I've done a couple over the years and you put them inside and after six months or 12 months, they, they're not the proper sphere that they should be, but this one's been stabilised and it should keep its shape quite nicely. So I've got a couple of other mulberry pieces that I will get onto the lathe and try and stabilise those before they start to, to rot too much. I've got most of the wood into the shed now that was outside. Hopefully I can uh, save some of the, the fruitier woods before they get too rotten, too punky and make something out of them. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. See you next time. Cheerio.
definitely dropped it. 